Good morning, Alabaster. I am here with a guy that has a pretty big job at Alabaster City Schools. This is the Chief Technology Officer, right? Is that right? Yes, ma'am, that's right. Anthony Kingston, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you, Nicole. I'm glad to be here. I know that you have probably had quite a bit on your shoulders in the past few months. It has been very interesting since March 13th. That's a day that everybody is infamous, infamous for all of us. But, Absolutely. Uh, we've been very busy at the school system since May, March 13th to make sure that we plan and get everything ready for the upcoming school year. Well, we got the roadmap in our email. Um, it was yesterday, uh, so probably last week or so for anyone watching. but. It was so incredibly detailed, and I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone at the school system, you guys included, for you thought of everything. Well, we tried to. We had our leadership teams. We brought uh, everybody in. Dr. Vickers, again, I'm going to give him credit because he pulled all of us in as or a leadership team. We had our principals, assistant principals, people from my technology team, uh, central office staff, and we basically just looked at every, every scenario, every option for our students and parents and we tried to make sure that we answered all the questions and provided them with the two options that we feel is best for them uh, to get them back in the school building. And I, know, I loved it because you said we wore our parent hat, our coach hat, our teacher hat. Like you tried to think of it from every perspective and from a parent perspective, thank you. You're welcome. And I know it'll be kind of changing as we go, yes. but we're all in it together. Right? Exactly. It will change. Uh, before August 19th get here, it'll change. and. Like I said, we're just waiting on the Governor Ivy or the Alabama Public Health Department to make some additional changes to our policies. Right. So just roll with it. Live and document. Got to roll okay, with it. I like it. But we are here today to talk about something specific, and it is the Warrior Device Initiative. Now, we read an article about it, school system put the article out, and basically it's a program for kids to have a device, right? Each cool. kid to have a device. So tell me about it. All right, we're excited about this. Uh, this is my fifth year in Alabaster. Uh, I was in another school system for 16 years and we were one-to-one -one with iPads. Okay. So when I first got here, Dr. Dr. Uh, Vickers and the board, we talked about long-term goals. And the goal was to make sure that each kid had a device for equity and make sure that they're exposed to the way our world is now. And that was a, a huge, huge initiative for us and we had to get our infrastructure in place. When we create our own school system, there were some there were some limitations that we had when yes. we broke away from the other school system that we wanted to make sure that we had and we built uh, our infrastructure up, I'll put honestly two million dollars into our infrastructure to create it so that you could bring devices to school. So this fifth year we're going to have a devices, we're offering devices for students in grades 3 through 12. Uh, there is a little fee uh, for the device, it's a $300 device that uh, we got for one student it's going to be $50. For two students, it'll be $80, and for three or more students, we're going to cap it at $100. Okay. So we know that this time is tough for a lot of our parents, but we know that we want to offer different options, 50, 80, and 100 for our parents to be able to, to enroll and be a participant in this program. That's wonderful. Now, are there going to be any device options for the younger grades, K through 2? Great question. Our focus initially is 3 through 12. Uh, we are getting those devices, but we have so many devices, but once we get 3 through 12, then we'll work our way down to second grade, to first grade, and then possibly even kindergarten. I like it. I like it. Just kind of working your work way through you there, but I, I do think that focusing on those older grades is definitely the right way to go here. So talk to me about if someone does not have internet at their home. If someone does not have internet, uh, we're trying to make sure that, uh, again, everybody has access to internet. We have extended our wireless at our schools. So you can honestly go to each campus, sit close to the parking lot, and be able to access the information and the internet there. Okay. We are also looking into getting some mobile hotspots for our parents and students that need that at home. Because for some parents, they cannot drive to the school building. We understand that. So we're trying to purchase some devices so they can take basically a mobile hotspot uh, from Verizon, T-Mobile, those things that most of us have. Mm -hmm. We'll offer that to some students so that we'll be able to get internet access at home. Now, um, I know a lot of us may not be super tech savvy, yes. speaking to myself <laughs> here. Um, so are you going to offer anything to kind of help guide parents through that? Another great question. Yes, ma'am. We're going to have like a parent academy. Uh, we were hoping to bring everybody on, on campus, but it's probably going to be online. Well, it will be online, an option for those parents who can't make it. Uh, we'll have just how-tos, how to get into Google Classroom and Schoology, which will be our LMS for our uh, 
the parents to be able to access our students' work. Uh, we'll show them how to clean the Chromebook because that's important. You just can't spray anything on those devices and right. they can mess them up. So we're going to have videos on how to do all those things and you'll hear from some students and you also hear from our technology team and myself as well about what to do, how to take care of the devices. I'm so excited. I think this opens up so many opportunities for our kids and wow the places that they can go exactly. with technology. So I, I appreciate you so much coming out, talking to us, telling us a little bit about everything. And again, Thank you guys for the hard work that you're putting in right now. It is not going unnoticed and we'll roll along right with you. Well, thanks, Ms. Cole, for the opportunity to be here and I appreciate you.